Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing VMware Workstation Player 17 on a Windows 11 PC. So let's take a look. VMware Workstation Player 17 is a free download for non-commercial use directly from the VMware website. I'll make sure I link that as well as everything else I'm using in this video in the description below. Let's take a look at the system requirements. You're going to need a compatible 64-bit x86 or AMD 64-bit CPU from 2011 or later. The core speed is going to want to be at least 1.3 gigahertz or faster, and you're going to need at least two gigs of RAM, four is recommended, and the rest of the specs are going to be based on the host operating system. And here I am at my Windows 11 desktop. I'm going to go ahead and open up my browser, and I'm at the page for VMware Workstation Player. I'll make sure I link this in the description below. You can see that we have the download link right over here. And I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here to the system requirements so you can see the system requirements for this. Four gigs of RAM or more is recommended. I typically try to have a system with eight gigs. I find that runs better. And then you can see that the guest operating systems that it supports are all listed right over here. And what I'll do is I'll just jump back up here to the top to the download section. I'm going to click on the download link. And this was released on April 25th, 2023. We're going to click on the go to download section and we'll scroll down a little bit over here. And this is where we can download it. So we have an option for Linux. We're going to be using the Windows player. Uh, you can see the file size is 577 megs. Click on download now and it'll begin to download the file. I'll jump over to the next step when this has been completed. OK, the download is now complete. I'm going to go ahead and click on the link over here and I'll minimize my browser. And we get this prompt for user account control. We can say yes to this to allow it to continue. And here is the first prompt. We can go ahead and click on next. Then we get the end user license agreement. We'll scroll all the way down here and then check on I accept and then click on next. And now we have the option to keep the install path the way it is, or you can change it to another drive if you're running into space issues. And then there is the option to install an enhanced keyboard driver. And then we have the option to add some VMware Workstation console tools into the same path. We'll leave that option selected and then click on next. The first option is if you want to have automatic updates installed during the startup of the application. And if you select the second option over here, you'll be providing feedback and analytics back to the team if there's any issues. And they usually use that to improve the application itself. Once you've made your choices, you can then go ahead and click on next. The next step is to create some shortcuts. You can have one on your desktop and then one in your start menu. Those are both fine for me. Click on next. And then we're going to go ahead and install by clicking on the install button. And I'm going to let that go ahead and install and I'll jump over to the next step. So VMware Workstation Player is free to try out. If you have a license and you want to go ahead and enter that, you can click on this option and it'll allow you to enter in a license. When you keep this blank, you're going to be using it for non-commercial use, which is perfectly fine. You can just click on skip here and then finish. And now you can see we have the VMware Workstation Player icon up here at the desktop. To launch it, we're just going to double click on it and it'll open up. And you can see that for non-commercial use, it's free. And if you want to use it for commercial use, you can go ahead and buy a license and enter it in there. We're going to go ahead and click on continue and then click on finish. And it's going to launch open here for us. And here we are at the main dashboard. You can go ahead and start by creating a new virtual machine uh, by clicking on the button over here and follow the steps. I have plenty of guides on the channel on how to install virtual machines. So you can go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. And that's how you install VMware Workstation 17 player on a Windows 11 PC. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.